A lawsuit has been filed against officers from the Bear County Sheriff's Office, the Department of Public Safety, and the Drug Enforcement Administration. This after a Leon Valley family says the agents broke down their door, did unnecessary damage to their home, and violated their civil rights. The alleged raid happened back on November 15th at a home in the 5300 block of Brisa Estates. As Max Massey tells us, a BCSO report referred to the home as a stash house, but they never found drugs there. How could this happen to my family? During a press conference today, Lucille Basco described the terrifying moments local and state officers pointed guns at her, handcuffed her, and then broke down her front door. I followed the laws. I tried, I did everything what is right, and still this happens to me. This happens to my family. It is shocking that there are no consequences for the police. This lawsuit the Bascos are filing cites five counts of these officers violating their civil rights, starting even before officers entered the house. The civil rights violation is being pulled over. It's a violation of the Fourth Amendment. You're not allowed to be pulled over unless there's either reasonable suspicion or probable cause that you did something wrong. And it was here at this seemingly quiet Leon Valley neighborhood that the Basco family says those law enforcement agents broke into their home, handcuffed Mrs. Basco, and traumatized their family. Every time I see police, I get scared. This is not right. This could, this should not happen. This should not be allowed to get away with this. This was the scene back on November 15th. Pictures show a closet, bedroom, and front door kicked in. We have an incident summary from BCSO that confirms the raid on that day. Officers serving a narcotics search warrant. One line reading, quote, Deputy Smith notified me that the location was not the right house. And in the supplemental section reading in part, quote, no evidence or contraband was located. We're gonna let a jury decide how much this family is entitled to for compensation. And we're gonna let a jury decide how much this family is entitled to as a punitive damage. Punitive damages, punitive awards are to make sure that this type of thing never happens again. The family's attorney added the case is expected to take a long time. It's a marathon not a sprint. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News. We reached out to BCSO for a comment on the suit. They said, quote, we have not been served with any legal process. We will defer to the district attorney's office regarding any ongoing legal matters, end quote. The suit was filed today, so those listed are expected to be served in the coming days. It's also important to mention Leon Valley Police reached out to us, saying in part, quote, the Leon Valley Police Department was not present during the execution of the search warrant and has no knowledge concerning it or the lawsuit that was filed, end quote.